Hey y'all, Lori with Nelson Farms here. I'm gonna show you today how easy it is to make your own ranch dressing. It is so easy. Literally, we're gonna get some ingredients, mix it together, throw it in the fridge, and it's done. So easy, and it's super delicious. Let me show you what you're gonna need to make this ranch dressing. It's so easy, but you do have to have a few ingredients. Onion powder and garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic if you'd prefer. Parsley, dill weed. Again, you can use fresh if you want. Mayonnaise. I typically try to get a healthier option of mayonnaise, but this is all I have today. Black pepper, lemon juice, sea salt, and your choice of milk. We're gonna make this dairy-free, so we're going with almond milk. And of course, you wanna grab you a glass jar. So to a mixing bowl, go ahead and add 3 fourths cup of your mayonnaise. And then we're gonna add milk. Now this calls for three, about three tablespoons of milk, but it really depends on how thick or thin you want your ranch. So if you like it thicker, start with two tablespoons of milk and then you can always go in and add more. So we I'm gonna use this almond milk because we're going with dairy free. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons and know that I'm probably gonna come back and add another tablespoon, but we're gonna start with this. Next, we're gonna add some lemon juice. So I like to use good organic lemon juice. We're gonna do two and a half teaspoons of the lemon juice. Okay, so now we're gonna add some dry ingredients. So for your garlic powder, you wanna add about a fourth of a teaspoon. And again, if you really like your ranch extra garlicky, feel free to add more. If you'd rather use real garlic, feel free to use that as well. We're also gonna add some onion powder. So we're gonna go with about a half a teaspoon of that. And then about a fourth a teaspoon of salt. So I like to use sea salt. You don't have to, but that's what I prefer. So I'm double dipping here, but we're just gonna do it. We're rolling with it. There we go, four teaspoon of salt. Again, do, make this to your preference. Just a little bit of black pepper. And then now we're gonna look at dill and parsley. So for dill, I like to do two teaspoons and for parsley, I like to do two teaspoons. So what we're not adding to this that a lot of people like to add is clove. I'm sorry, chives. Uh, we are not crazy about chives here, so we're just not gonna add them. But if you want to add them, I would add a couple tablespoons of chives, or teaspoons, not tablespoons. Okay, that's all of our ingredients. So this is all of our ingredients. All you have to do now is really, you just whisk it really good. And then you're gonna see if it's the consistency you like. And again, if you're using this for more of a dip, you might want it thicker. If you're using it for more of like a salad dressing, you might want it a little bit thinner so you could add some milk. Uh, this is really about the consistency we like. Uh, you could probably add, uh, we could do a little bit more milk in here, but I think we're gonna leave this as is. It looks perfect. So I'm gonna put my ranch dressing in this jar, this mason jar, and then I'm gonna put one of these reusable lids on it, and I'm gonna throw it in the fridge, and it's gonna be good for a couple of weeks. So let's do that and see how it looks. I feel like my kids are possibly the pickiest kids on the planet. So for them both to like this recipe says a lot, and they both really liked it. So here is the ranch. We're gonna put this in the fri fridge. Before you serve it, make sure it's been in the fridge for a little while. I like for it to be in the fridge a couple of hours, so we'll probably have this tomorrow. Don't forget to label your ranch <laughs> so you know what it is when you open the fridge. And 
Here we go. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you try it. My kids love it, so I hope that you will too. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.